time to time when the clearances get a little tight I try to show things on the bench now I'm going to show you the layout as far as the bolts on that AC compressor. These are the two bottom 13s that are at the lowest point. And like I said, directly above it on the opposite side of the AC compressor, there were two more. Which in the layout would be basically like this. Now these are studded bolts. I guess you could say you got nuts and you've actually studs sticking through. So, you got to take your nuts off. Like I said, one of these has a harness going over with a plastic fastener. kind of just helps route the harness. And this is what they use to kind of help it. You pull that off then you'll get your 13 millimeter nut off then if you use an inverted torch you can actually take this stud out now the one over here is a little tight to get to because there's an ac line getting in the way but once you get the other three off and you got the nut off the ac compressor will move so as it moves the line moves you can get to that torx head inverted torx head right there and you can actually work on getting it out now what I used, and they call it a uh, Matco makes it, it's a uh, BAXR is what I used to get. It fits on it pretty snug. I was able to get it back off and get the stud off. Now I'll show you how I've got it repositioned out of the way and I've got room for that alternator. Alright, so, got the alternator where I can get to it fairly easy. The AC compressor's already been pulled down as low as it'll go out of the way. I've got this hose right here that just flexes and ain't gonna hurt nothing. But as you can see, I've got a large hole here I can get that alternator out. Now, if you look right here, you've got a 13 millimeter nut. Because there's a stud that goes through. We'll go ahead and take that 13 millimeter nut off. And then we've got two 13s on the side near the top. Almost like the way the AC compressor was laid out. Two on the bottom, two at the top. We've got two near the top that we'll work on. And now we got some positive cable and the actual connector for the uh, generator field from the PCM. Otherwise, so far it looks like we're not gonna have any issues. And we didn't have to mess with the coolant system, we didn't have to take the fan out. All we did was take the four, uh, the two bolts out of the lower AC compressor and then the two upper nuts and two upper studs and we repositioned it. And we already had to take the belt off, so we're gonna keep going with it. So far I feel good about it. Hopefully it's a good shortcut for people. All right. We got the upper bolts out. I've got this, the nut off the stud. I guess at this point it's put up or shut up, right? So we either got us a shortcut or we're going to end up having questions which work now. So, cable's off the back as well. I can get to it fairly easy. I just come up right behind the AC compressor. I was able to get right to the connector and the battery cable. Let's see, we got to slide it off the stud. Okay. Down towards the hole. Let me flex that. Pull and hold down and bang it. Shortcut. Awesome. So, as you can see, there's the opening we came out of. Now, I'm going to show you the alternator on the bench so I can explain you where the bolts were. All right, so here's our old alternator. You've got the stud that sticks through on the bottom here. That's the 13 millimeter nut. And here are your two upper 13s I told you about. I was able to get in there with that. We've got a short 13 millimeter ratchet wrench and a long one as well. That's how I got those off. And on the back side, you got your connector, which is a, like I always say, it's a two-stage connector. It's a red portion you gotta slide out uh, towards the wiring, pull it back, and then once you've got it all the way out, you can squeeze on the black portion of the connector and get it off. And then you've got your positive battery cable lead, which you can get off with your 13 as well. Otherwise, it's fairly cut and dry. Um, all you gotta do is worry about getting the studs off. As long as you got something that can get the studs off of the AC compressor, the two studs up top, then you have plenty of room. Uh, the insulation is just going to be the opposite of removal. I mean, you got access to the area to get it up in there, put everything on. What I'd probably do is slide it through the stud, maybe put my nut on a little bit, and then you'll be able to actually rotate the AC, or excuse me, the alternator up, and then put your bolts through and get it started. And then you can tighten up and get your battery cable on and your connector, and then you work on getting your AC compressor. Otherwise, to me, I think it saves time. It's a good process. Feel free to try it out and tell me what you think. Alright, as promised, here's your belt diagram showing you where to route the belt. Just take your time, follow the procedure. It's pretty cut and dry. Alright, so you saw the removal of that alternator on the 3.6 liter. As you saw, to me, it's easier dropping it out the bottom. I am taking the bolts off of the AC compressor and moving it out of the way. That's easier to me than taking the airbox off, the radiator fan assembly, draining the coolant, and taking the upper radiator hose off. 
too many more steps, too much more aggravation. And to me, time's important, time's valuable. So that's why I would do it. Now, like I said, the decision's up to you how you want to. Now, at this point, this is where I ask you to critique my videos. Please feel free to give any input such as thumbs up, thumbs down. Also, don't forget to subscribe. You subscribe, you get notified of new videos coming out and any updates on YouTube. And if you scroll down into the description below the video, you'll find links to both Facebook and Twitter. So there's three different ways you can get a hold of us and watch the videos. Now, if you feel like you'd like to donate to the video and help support it, please feel free. At the beginning of the video and at the end, there's a little icon at the top of the screen. It moves around from time to time where it's at. Feel free to click on that or on the main page and feel free to donate whatever you can to help support the video and keep it going. In the meantime, I've got more videos to make and you've got more videos to watch. Thank you.